so excited and scared at the same time. I just, I just want to see 10, 15 minutes. 10, 15 minutes is okay. Anything more than that would just be icing on the cake. everyone this is the second half of our second day here in Alaska remember that the first half was our dog sledding tour with the Alaska mushing school so now we are here at ramen house to have dinner before we go back to the hotel take a little nap and then head off to our night tour with Great Land Adventures for the Northern Lights viewing. They have actually confirmed with us that tonight may be an ideal night to actually see them. Um, when you book with Great Land Adventures, they actually make you choose an alternate night just in case the initial night that you choose doesn't work out. So they've confirmed with us that tonight is a go. Um, and Great Land Adventures was also the tour company that we used for our I, always, I want to say iceberg glacier, glacier hiking. Um, yes, yeah, so, and that starts at well, our pickup is at 10:20, and it's from 10:20 to 2 o'clock a.m. I believe. Um, I'm not sure if it'll end sooner if um, the northern lights because uh, decreases. Uh, I'm not sure. Hopefully, my camera picks it up well enough and I'm using the Lumix G9 for that. Can I get you guys anything else? Um, I am good. Thank you. We are currently watching Aquaman <laughs> up at the bar but dinner is served. I got a spicy miso ramen we are currently here on our bus tour and there will be nine participants or guests for this activity we are actually at our last stop waiting for the last two guests to arrive and then I believe it's about a 40 minute drive to the viewing location. And so I hope, hope, hope that we do get to see something and that we do get to capture it on film. So we are currently by the Kanek River. So I believe that's the river back there. And the mountains are just right over there. I know you can't see it, just trust me. So our car is situated where it's blocking the wind and our guide has set up tents for us for the next couple of hours so that we can hang out in the dark. I've always wondered how this works out. I thought we'd just all be in the car, but I guess not. We'd be um, we'd be staying inside these group tents. I'm not sure if I could 
film in there because I think it'll just be too dark. It's a little breezy right now over here. It's about 38. We dip some more down to 30 degrees. So we'll see how this goes as far as filming. So there's our van and there's our tent. And the troop is somewhere behind me. And the guy just told us that the lights will come over the ridge of the mountains. So I am inside the tent. You can't see anything, but there are two heaters, two portable heaters here. One there, and then one there. I've set up my camera to do some time-lapse photography, but I don't know if it if it's right. Here's hoping for the best. Okay, it's two o'clock right now. I don't know if you guys can see me. I'm right by the heater. There you go. Two o'clock, and still a no show for the northern lights although my camera is actually taking pictures like it's daylight so i hope that that's a good sign <laughs> it got really painful around three o'clock a.m we hung around the river as long and as late as we could which was around 2 30 ish with the northern lights not making its appearance then got back at the hotel around for mm, I want to say 3 30 ish close to 4 but I went to bed with my hair wet and that almost never happens that's how tired I was so we have the options of going back to the river and possibly trying this all over again with a flight at 6 a.m. tomorrow so stay tuned on what we decide to do for this day. Hello everyone! Ooh, that's really bright for Darwin. So we are on our way to Kanik River. It's K-N-I-K -K River. Day two of our Northern Lights Definitely was just 
dark, you know. Um, it wasn't pitch black because the moon is um, really bright. But, oh, what, what, 10 minutes later? 20 minutes later? 25, yeah, 20 minutes later. Yeah, I actually went to sleep. I set up my camera, then, you know, we stayed inside the car and went to sleep. Darwin stayed up a little bit more. And he woke me up. And I wish I could have captured it in camera. He was like, Tessa, I think it's here. <laughs> so I woke up, I was like, oh my god! And that's when I picked up the camera, and of course, you couldn't see me at the time. Where it's just one of those, I, I speechless, speechless time. And it looks like my camera, which I'm which I used my, my Lumix G9, the time-lapse feature. Just looking from the camera screen at the time that it was taking pictures, it looks pretty damn good. Was it focused? I won't know until I actually play it back on the computer monitor. But regardless, whether it's um, unfocused or not, uh, sharp or not I'm I'm okay with it <laughs> I'm okay with it um, the fact that I just learned how to do the time-lapse over the course of two days I'm not complaining I can't complain whatever it is that I captured um, I think the best way from Anchorage to the spot that we were at um, I think it's best to map Eklutna Power, power Plant E-K-L-U-T-N-A -E Eklutna Power Plant um, So you'll be exit. so you're going towards Palmer um, you're exiting the old Glen Highway and then head towards the Power Plant um, It's going to take a while actually from the exit to the power plant, I want to say 10 minutes, 10-15 minutes, and then you're going to pass pass it, and then you're going to come to a fork in the road. You want to stay to your right, okay, stay to your right. It's, um, I want to say it's going to take you to residential areas, um, keep going. And, but uh, I'm gonna say another 10 minutes after making that um, right. Five, five minutes after. Uh, like five to 10 minutes after making that right on, from that fork on the road. Um, slow down because there's going to be openings between the trees um, for, for you to um, go through with your car. And, so, and just park by the by the river. Um, our spot last night was different from where we were, but it's this. We're still facing the mountain uh, in the same general direction. You can definitely drive past it. So when what happen, you'll know that you're you've gone too far. Is if the mountain now. Um, what is it? Is, is, is too close to you or it feels like the mountain is just too close already or that it's too much to the side um, then you, you, went, you went too far already um, all the conditions were right today tonight um, actually during the day it was sunny um, light wind and clear skies I think um, the following day's forecast also affects it and today or this day is also going to be sunny, light breeze, clear skies. And um, also what helped us was uh, Darwin found an app.
visibility for the northern lights here is between 10 and 2. So at 10 o'clock, you know, as part of his trying to back out, it was like, oh, there's zero chance and it looks cloudy outside. I'm like, no. Um, but what is it? 10, uh, no, 11, 12 o'clock, the, 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 the percentage was getting higher. Um, it was at what? It was at 10 percent when it when it showed. And I've read and I've also watched it on other vlogs. Um, people saying that if just watching it with naked eye, it's a lot fainter than what the camera can pick up. But nonetheless, there was. I want to say it was a good hour because for a little after 12:30 to 1:30, it was, it was there. It was visible. Um, there were definitely stronger ones, um, fainter. But at one point, it's it totally spanned over the the mountain range. It was it was just completely fantastic. Nothing compares to it. <laughs> and um, we saw mostly greens. Um, Darwin thought he saw a little bit of orange, but I didn't pick that up. So now it is 2.30. Our flight is at 6 o'clock. We are heading towards the airport um, between 3.30 and 4 because we still got to drop our car. All right, I shall see you at the airport. We are now at the airport and we're quite early. We still have an hour left, but that's better than being late and rushing. Our stopover will be Seattle first before SFO. So we are currently in Seattle, Tacoma Airport after a wonderfully smooth flight from Anchorage. And now we're just having some brunch. Keeping it sort of healthy. Some tofu greens and cheesy grits with my fave yam fries. And for coffee. I stopped through the entire first leg, which rarely happens because I was so tired from yesterday's activities. We barely got any rest and some unexpected activities but no complaints here I completely packed with all the activities that we've done it's actually the best outdoor trip I have ever taken <laughs> Alaska definitely has a ton to offer and so underrated as far as a place to visit or the place to visit. So highly, highly recommend that you guys take a trip out there. I hate little planes. Home now. The flight from Seattle to SFO was surprisingly smooth. I guess because it wasn't windy. Normally I don't like riding on a small commuter planes because you can really feel the shakiness or the, the shakiness is enhanced um, with smaller planes, I, I find. But not this time, thankfully. Conditions were just right. Um, the actual flight and the landing were were just fine so 
<laughs> I miss this little baby. Um, just last minute thoughts about Alaska. It is by far one of the best outdoor trips I've ever taken, even though it was quick. Just uh, my bucket list was checked off um, with the northern, with seeing the northern lights. This was definitely one of those once in a lifetime experiences. Certainly unique, definitely memorable. Um, downtown, it was just never busy. There were a few people here and there, but not your usual big city downtown or your, your usual mainland downtown. There are a lot of restaurants. And then when you leave An Anchorage proper, um, you'll find or you'll notice that there's a lot of plazas as opposed to malls. Well, I think this is a good place and time to end our day. Um, if you guys have any questions on all the activities that we did, uh, planning wise or, or the companies that we used, please feel free to ask them on the comments below. Um, also, don't forget to click the subscribe button below for future and new adventures and there certainly will be more this year. Um, oh, and don't forget to click that big thumbs up after every episode. And for real-time stories, pictures, and small videos or video clips, check out my Instagram page at Asset Images. From my mind's eye to yours, definitely more to come. Thanks for watching.